objective of this lesson is for you to use correct footwork when performing triple jump. To really help emphasize the phases of triple jump, the hop, the step, and the jump, I recommend that you use three to four objects. Three of the objects should be smaller, and you're going to be using those as markers for your takeoff, your hop, and your step. And I recommend using balls, rolled up socks, water bottles, whatever you can find. And then you want an object that you can land on visually. So it could be a towel, a blanket, or if you're doing this on the grass, that's good enough. Just, it's really gonna help you better understand the phases of the triple jump and also to break down what's going on in this lesson. So for this triple jump lesson that you're going to follow along with, I talk a lot about the markers. I'm going to be talking a lot about the four objects or the markers that you're going to use for this. So what I want you to do around your house, I want you to find four objects that you can use for this lesson. I'll give you an example. Here, I found some fuzzy, like juggling type balls. Okay, you can use tennis balls, you can roll up socks, you, you can use uh, water bottles, you can use whatever you want. The bottom line is, is that you're going to have three markers that are going to help you determine where you're going to land, where you're going to take off and where you're going to land. And then what I recommend for your fourth object, here I'm using a map. I would recommend something that's bigger visually that you can see, like a blanket, a towel, right? If you have a map, you can use a map. Um, whatever you can land on that's going to be soft, it's going to be safe, you don't want it to slide from underneath you, um, and that's really going to be your fourth marker, your landing marker, okay? So I'm going to talk a lot about these in the video, so I just wanted you to know that you can use whatever you want, whatever you can find, and try to give yourself enough space. You're going to probably need 10 to 15 feet of space in order for you to pull off each of the components of triple jump. All right, good luck. Hope you enjoy the video and follow along. Pause as needed. All right, we're going to learn this together. All right, welcome to this instructional video, Breaking Down Triple Jump. This is going to be a very basic introductory video on how to do the hop, step, and jump patterns in triple jump. This is something that we're covering with in-person students and I want you as distance learners to have an opportunity to also practice and become competent at triple jump. So what you're going to need to do, okay, to sort of model this lesson and to be able to follow along in this lesson is find four objects laying around. Okay, let me show you what I've set up here. All right, and then I'll give you an idea. What I have here is I have object number one, I have object number two, I have object number three, and then I have this mat, which is my fourth object. So object number one right here is gonna be my takeoff marker. This is my takeoff target, my, I'm not a target, my takeoff marker. That's where I'm gonna take off and start all of my triple jump patterns. This second object, represents where I'm going to land my hops. So this is the hop landing marker. This is the step landing marker. And then this is going to be my landing marker, where I land my jump. All right? This would be equivalent to landing in the, uh, the sand pit in wheelchair. This is where I'm going to land. All right? So once again, this is my takeoff marker. This is my hop landing marker, my step landing marker, and my jump landing. Okay. So um, the reason these objects are important is because they give you visual targets. Right? They help you really break down the key components of triple jump. I'm going to show you what triple jump looks like. All right, and then as you watch it, try to think about what movement patterns I'm doing. I'm gonna do it one more time. So technically, 
it's not a very good triple jump. That's not my point, okay? The point here was to really exaggerate each of the three components of the triple jump, all right? And what I actually did here is I did a hop, a step, and a jump. Okay, I ended up landing with two feet. So a couple things to remember here is it's single foot, single foot, two feet. So the way I would like to teach it in class, the way I teach it in class is one, one, two. One, one, two. All right, to remember how many feet should be on the ground at any given time. So here, you'll notice I'm starting with the single foot, single foot, single foot, and then two feet. Okay, so now I'm gonna break this down. What I want you to do as I go along and I break this down, I want you to pause and practice. Pause and practice, okay? Now, if you feel that the pace of this is a little too slow and you think you have the concept, then just go ahead, move ahead, and continue to keep practicing, All right? But if you really do need this broken down, this is what I'm gonna do, and hopefully each of the components, as I layer them on, you can keep practicing them and learning them, okay? So, we're gonna start with our marker, first marker, which is our takeoff marker, okay? This is where we're gonna start, like I said, this is where we're gonna start each of our movements. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna hop from the starting marker to my hop landing target. So my goal is to hop, to be able to hop from marker one to marker number two. A hop is same foot to same foot. I'm gonna start with my left foot, okay? So I'm gonna hop from left foot to left foot. So what I'm gonna do is hop, and you'll see that I was able to hop from marker one to marker two. I'm gonna do it one more time, this time with my right, okay? So I'm gonna go right foot to right foot. So that's a hop. That's the first movement in triple jump. Now what I want you to do is I want you to experiment. Left foot hop or right foot hop. See where you feel you have better balance, where you might have a little bit more power, where you have better control, where you have more confidence. So I want you to pause now. I want you to go to the first marker, okay? And I want you to just practice hopping from marker number one to marker number two. When you feel like you're ready to move on, then we're gonna to advance to the next step. All right, so here we are. Now, now that you've practiced hopping, you know, hopefully at this point, you know if you're gonna hop from left to left or from right to right. But now we're gonna to add the to step on, okay? So we're gonna go from a hop into the step. So we're gonna add part one and part two. Okay, so we're gonna start again with our mark from our starting marker, from our takeoff marker, and I'm gonna hop with my left foot to the next marker. So I'm gonna hop. Now from here, I'm gonna step with my other foot by swinging it forward. Now I've stepped. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna hop into a step. So I'm gonna hop and step. Okay, that's what the two parts of the triple jump look like. I'm gonna do right foot now. I'm gonna hop right to right and step with left, okay? So it's a hop into a step. Once again, what I want you to do now is I want you to do that hop into the step movement, experiment, hop with left, step with right, or hop with right, step with left. All right, so go ahead and pause and practice the hop into the step. So you're going from marker one, and you should end up at marker number three. All right, so now you've been practicing. You're pretty much at this point, maybe have figured out which foot you wanna hop, which foot you wanna step, okay? Now, the final aspect of triple jump is going to be the actual jump. So you're gonna go from the hop into your step, and from that step, you're gonna take off on that single foot and you're gonna land with two feet into your pit, okay, into your target, all right? So, let's think about um, how we're gonna combine all the movements, okay? So here, I'm gonna start and hop with my left. So I'm gonna hop left to left, step with right, jump off my right, land on two feet. 
Okay, remember I said it went one, one, two. Once again, you'll see that it's gonna be one, one, two. Okay? So this is really just you practicing those three motor skills together. So now I'm gonna do it a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna hop, step, jump. So that's what it would look like as really a continuous motion, which is what you wanna do, because in triple jump, you're not gonna pause in between each one. I'm pausing a lot to really break the skill down, but really you wanna just have it be a continuous movement. So it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna be a, a hop, step, jump. Now remember, the point of today's lesson is not about generating more power to get more distance. It is really just being able to put together the hop, the step, and the jump, okay? So one more time, from marker number one, hop to two, step three, land on marker object number four, okay? I'm gonna do it one last time, and then you are now going to just Practice, practice, practice. Okay, you're gonna be putting together a little presentation for me where you're gonna to demonstrate to me that you know how to triple jump, that you have the correct footwork. So you really wanna use this video to practice. I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe you guys do it with me. All right, so start with your marker. I'm gonna do left. I'm gonna hop, step, and jump. Okay, so good luck practicing your triple jump footwork. And you know, it's really just about you being able to break each piece down. And when you feel ready, put the next piece on top of it. Have these visual markers that will really help you and good luck. I recommend if you have the space, practice this triple jump pattern from a running start. The running start adds complexity and is a good way for you to assess your skill ability. Start from a short distance away, and as you practice and master the technique, increase the distance. However, please always consider safety. Make sure it is a safe surface to run on and to land on. Good luck, and whether you decide to practice from a stationary start or from a running start, it doesn't matter. The goal is just to master the hop, the step, and the jump, and to have fun and get good at another skill.